What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Polly Buck, and I sure am glad to have you back with me here today. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor. Go down below, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, spread this video out across YouTube, and let everybody see what you're seeing. Now, today, I want to talk about American Silver Eagles. And it's going to be a talk, but more of a question, really. Why are these things being treated as if they are a collectible, is, is my question. They're a Boolean coin. They've been a Boolean coin since 1986. Why are these dealers charging so much of a premium for this stuff? It is ridiculous. And what I like to do is, is show you that the supply is there, plus the demand is there. But the price is outrageous for some reason. I, I can't wrap my fingers around it. Why? And what it all comes down to me in the end? Well, stick around to the end and we'll get into that. Okay, so the first thing I'd like to go over is the mintage chart of the American Silver Eagle. And as you can see here, mint state American Silver Eagle since 1986. They've been minting these things in the millions upon millions upon millions for years and years and years and years and years. Now, you hear people talking about the 1996 being a key date, right? Well, they still minted 3.6 million of them and some change, right? Now, granted, that is their lowest year of mintage, but you're talking 3.6 million coins in 1996. The year before was 4.6 million. We can go up to in 1987. They made 11.4 million. Now that's going back to the 80s and 90s. Let's get into the 2000, 9.2 million. 9 million in 01. 02, 10.5. We finally got back to the 10 million mark since 1987, right? Well, we can keep moving on. Then they started bringing in some varnished. Some burnished, I'm sorry, which should be what I think they call them uncirculated or, I mean, they're all uncirculated. They just made a fancy name for them, call them burnished, made by the West Point Mint. They made 466,537. Now we can stop there. That is close to being a collectible. I mean, you're still talking a half a million coins here. That's a lot. That's a lot of silver, right? Go down to 2007, the regular mint state, 9 million. Then they get into the burnished again, uh, 690,000. 2008, 20.5 million American silver eagles were minted. 2009, 30 million, 34 million, 40 million in 2011, 37 million. In 2012, 42 million in 2013, 2014, you thought that was a lot, 2014, 54 million American silver eagles were minted. Right on the money of 2015, exactly 47 million, 37 million in 2016, 2018, 15 million, 30 million in 2020. So still, in the year of 2020, when things were being shut down, there were still 30 million coins minted by the U.S. Mint. Now, what I do want to talk about is American Silver Eagle that could be considered a collectible of sorts. The breast version of the American Silver Eagle, the proof American Silver Eagles, right? These are supposed to be the best of the best, what this coin should look like in its perfect state but they still mint an awful lot of these things, an awful lot of these things. And the only one I really want to touch on in this is going to be your reverse proofs. You have enhanced reverse proofs in 2019, low mintage, 99,000, 29,000, right? But is this one right here, the World War II V75. Out of all of these, other than the reverse proofs, this particular American Silver Eagle is probably and should be the most valuable, the most collectible. There was a reason this coin was made. 
There was a reason there was only a limit of 75,000. And this chart shows 74,743 minted. It was to commemorate the end of World War II. Now, that's a collectible coin right there. Okay, so as you can see, we went over some of the mintage limits on some of these American Silver Eagles, right? And I talked about at the beginning of the video, we talked about, we talked about a little bit of supply and demand. Maybe, maybe that was the reason that these things are being sold or at least offered for sale for an ungodly amount of money over spot, right? The next thing I want to do is I want to take you to a couple bullion websites, bigger bullion websites, and show you that these eagles are readily available. You can purchase today, but why aren't So I brought you to JM Bullion to start with. JM Bullion, pretty big website, right? Pretty big bullion dealer out there for the online buyers like myself. So here are your American Silver Eagles. They have them in call, damaged, 32, 33, as low as. Now, I'm not going to click on every one of these. I'm going to click on, let's go to the 2022, just to show you a, for instance. Right now, they got them for, well, let's check spot price. Spot price is below $20.50. It's $20.44 as far as the JM Bullion spot price. 35.33 for a e-check or wire. 36.80 for credit card or PayPal. So we're just going to use that as a reference um, when we go through this page here. So I just want to show you that these things are readily available in many years if you're looking for them. But remember, spot price is 2044. Silver price for an American silver eagle we just looked at over $35. You're talking $15 an eagle over spot. How are you ever going to get that money back out of what everybody's been telling us? Our investment, our hedge against inflation. As soon as you buy one and you're in the hole, that's not that's not smart by any means. We got 2005s, 2021s, 2010s, 2018s, 2019s, 2015s. Look, we even got 2020s. 3633. Now that's as low as this coin right here is probably gonna be a $40 coin if you want to buy it here. If you want to buy one, we have multiple, multiple years of BU American Silver Eagles on JM Bullion. I'm gonna take you to one more site. I was gonna do three or four. I'm gonna take you to one more site and show you what they have. Okay, friends. Here I am. Uh we are at the Provident Metals Bullion website. And this is the same situation as JM Bullion and trust that this is the same situation across the interwebs of all the big Bullion websites. I chose this one for a specific reason. After I go through these coins, I'm going to show you why I came to this site. Uh, your randoms, 3235 as low as, so you can probably add 2 or $3 to all these prices, probably 2 bucks. Same thing, 3335 for your random one ounce. These are cull damage colored. You can see they added some colored ones in here. This is stuff that, why this stuff is readily available is because we sold it to them. We sold it back to them and now it's available to us, right? But I'm going to show you. Look, look at all the Eagles available. 87s, 1987s if you want to buy some. This website, along with many others, is chuck full of American Silver Eagles. The supply is here. Let us give you the demand. Bring, bring down the prices where it's realistic. As I talked about before, this is, it's a bullion coin, right? This thing should be a stacker's dream to be stacking away any country, anywhere, it's the most recognizable coin in the world. Yet, they want to charge us this price for it. Well, I want to show you what they do. 
Provident Metals is one of the websites that also shows you what they will buy your metals back at, right? Well, we know an American Silver Eagle right now today with spot being under $20.50, they're going to buy your Eagles back for $25.72. So you're going to get $5.52 or $5.25 over spot if you were to buy today at $35, turn around and sell tomorrow, you're getting $25. You're out $10. This is why I spoke earlier. Anytime you buy silver, doesn't matter if it's American silver, silver eagle, junk silver, it's at a loss. You're holding your fiat in that silver bar at that particular point in time and space that you make that purchase, knowing that when you made that purchase, you are out that fiat, and hopefully it's going to hold that value, and hopefully you're going to gain some money back on that value. So that's the question I have is, why are we treating these things as if they are, why are we being treated as if these things are a collectible? They're not a collector's item. They mint some that are collector's items, and that's fine. Give us our bullion coin back. You've got these big dealers who are paying $2, $2.25 over spot at the time they make the purchase and turn around and they're the ones who raise these premiums on us. There's not a supply issue here. As I said in the beginning, I think this issue falls back on us. We really like the coin. We do. We're Americans. If you're not American watching this, I'm sure you have some in your stack. If you're buying this coin, you 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 have to know that you're buying this at a loss right now. I don't care if you're paying a website price. I don't care if you're buying them off of Instagram for $600 and $620 a tube. I don't care if you're buying them from a Empire Precious Metals auction at $33 a piece. Spots $20. There are much lower premium things to be buying than American Silver Eagles. But I sure as hell would like to be stacking eagles again. It wasn't that many years ago that we were paying $17, $17.50 for an eagle. And that was, what, $2 over spot? I think those days are dead and gone. And it's sad. Is it because of so many new stackers that are coming in? Is it because of the COVID? We all got locked down and started watching YouTube and needed something to do. So we had all this money coming in. They were paying, paying all this money to everybody. They had nothing to do with it. So there was a demand issue. The whole world was scared for a little bit there. So in the comment section down below, let me know what you think it is. Are you stacking them right now? The consensus is no, and I'm with you. But I can tell you, I sure as hell would love to be. I hope you all enjoyed this. Have a great one. Thanks, everybody.